Pictures from a media tour of a U.S. Border Patrol Youth Detention Center show the sleeping conditions for detained children. They're given showers, clean clothes, and recreation. Wednesday's media tour showed a center that was cleaner and less crowded than centers had been before. It contrasted with exclusive pictures Al Jazeera obtained just last week of the same detention center in Arizona. Still, the center had the feeling of a prison with kids held behind chain-linked fences and razor wire. Officials couldn't tell us how many children are being housed here or how long they'll stay. They refused all requests for television interviews. These youth are part of a record wave of unaccompanied minors arriving on the U.S. border. Nearly 50,000 have arrived since October, mainly from Central America. That number could reach 60 or even 90,000 by year's end. The influx of so many unaccompanied minors has presented a dilemma for Border Patrol agents. Basically, they're a law enforcement agency not accustomed to providing care for so many youth, but they say they're trying to do it in the most dignified way possible. Border agents say that they're stretched too thin to do their job. Our main concern as agents is uh, you're removing agents from the field to take care of this area. We're making sure that it's not more porous. Uh, we work in Arizona. Obviously, these people are being apprehended in Texas. Um, but Arizona is still responsible for 60 percent of all the drugs in the entire country. As the Border Patrol struggles to care for this unprecedented surge of young migrants, there's no sign of the wave slowing down anytime soon. Every day, hundreds more arrive after a treacherous journey from Central America through Mexico. Some of the detainees are being reunited with family members in the U.S. Others don't know where their journey will end. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Nogales, Arizona.